Despite double red flags and dangerous swimming conditions, another visitor drowned on Panama City Beach this weekend. An Alabama father died yesterday while trying to save his daughter. She was caught in a strong rip current. As News 13's Courtney Fegley tells us, local authorities say this is another incident that could have been prevented. It's a Father's Day tragedy. 47-year-old Christopher Pierce from Helena, Alabama, was vacationing with his family at Tidewater Beach Resort when his daughter got stuck in a rip current. She was swimming on a double red flag day, meaning the gulf was closed to swimmers. While saving his daughter from the strong current, Pierce found himself in trouble too. He was successfully able to get her out of the water, but in his attempt, he got caught in a rip current. And he ultimately uh, uh, died as a result of, of the incident. Paramedics tried to save Pierce. They took him to Ascension Sacred Heart Bay's Beach ER, where he was pronounced dead. There's no words to describe um, uh, what the family is probably going through when they lose their father, um, a husband, on Father's Day while they're on vacation. All right? All of these tragedies can be avoided. All of these tragedies don't have to happen. Law enforcement urges the public to stay out of the water when red flags are up. That water is just as dangerous as a pool full of sharks. Unless you want to take the chance of us having to call your loved one, all right, and tell them that you died by making a stupid, foolish, and preventable mistake, say out of the water on single and double red flag days. Panama City Beach rescue officials say they answered at least 10 swimmer in distress calls this past week. That's not counting Bay County or neighboring beach counties. In Panama City Beach, Courtney Fegley, News 13, Panhandle Strong. Beach officials say they also contacted 75 people about swimming under double red flags. They fined 24 violators $500 each. For surf conditions and the current beach flags, you can text the word flags to this number, 888-777.